Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make e-matches, electronic uh, ignition sources, out of uh, Christmas light bulbs, which are plentiful this time of year. And if you actually wait till after Christmas, you can get many, many boxes of, hundred of hundreds of bulbs for uh, extremely cheap. So, what uh, I will be doing here is demonstrating how to break one of these bulb tubes and uh, fill the inside with black powder without damaging the filament, which is the important part to cause a connection and ignite the powder. Now, if you have ever uh, purchased commercially matches, you know they are very expensive, and uh, you can end up spending quite a bit of money on them just to fire a very small show. So this could save you quite a bit of money here. Now, the real trick in breaking these bulbs is to use a file. And a triangle file works best, but I was at the store yesterday and I forgot to grab one. I was uh, looking for some parts for a ball mill I'm building, and uh, hopefully I'll be showing that in an upcoming video. But uh, for now, I'll just be using the edge of this file here to crack these bulbs. The important part is to leave as much glass as possible uh, to protect the filament. So what you'll do is just start running the file right along the very top, just below where it stops curving from uh, the tip of the bulb. And I'll go ahead and run that on the edge of this file here. There we go. That is a cracked bulb right there. And I'll go ahead and crack another one. Sometimes it can help to leave this uh, plastic piece on while cracking the tip off. That can uh, make it easier to get a good grip on it. There is another cracked bulb. I'll now go ahead and remove it from the plastic piece here. And there you go. That is a bulb ready to be loaded with black powder. Okay, now the filling process for these e-matches involves uh, taking a small amount of freshly milled black powder, meal, and uh, just gently dumping some into the tube right over the filament. And uh, tap it down, add a little more, and get it uh, just about level with the top. A little less would, is uh, a little less is good. Okay, you can see that there. Now I uh, will take a very small amount of cotton or tissue paper and stick it right in the top there and not press it, uh, not press it down very hard because uh, the filament is very close to the top of the bulb. You don't want to damage that. So there you go. Now the last step is to take a small piece of tape as I will do in a moment here, and seal the top. Okay, I've got my cotton in, and I've gotten a small piece of tape, as you can see there, and I will go ahead and just wrap that around, and then pinch it shut. Go ahead and fold it in on itself, being gentle on that cotton. And there you go. You can uh, go ahead and trim the excess tape right off, just like that. And you could even, instead of putting cotton in there, you could even insert a fuse and tape it just above the filament so it's not touching that. And then you would have an additional delay after hitting the E-match if you would want that. And there you go. Hopefully I saved you some money in setting up your New Year's display. And 4th of July next year if you get in on those deals on uh, Christmas lights come end of December. So, let's go out and give this a test.